Hello, everybody. I'm popping in for another moment of wonder. And you know, this is so totally informal because I don't even have my real camera. I've got just my laptop camera and I'm sitting here talking. But I'm thinking about whether or not I want to go to a yoga class tonight. It seems like every time I went to, ever since I come to Los Angeles, not so much in the Bay Area, which is supposed to be hippie central, but here in Los Angeles, everybody I meet is a yoga teacher, it seems like. So what's up with that? My answering machine, right? So everybody's a yoga teacher, but I had never been to a yoga class. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, it seems really boring. If I wanna exercise, I wanna get really into it, right? And do something strenuous and hard, you know, kickboxing or something. And, um, but I got a yoga, free yoga classes with my gym membership, so I thought I'd try it out. And they're Monday nights and Wednesday nights. Oh yeah. It's Monday. So I thought I'd go and I did go. And it was fine. But I'm telling you, I was so tired. The the week after I started doing I tried this class, I couldn't stop yawning. I could not stop yawning. I felt like my whole week was an incomplete yawn. And that is an annoying feeling, you guys, when you're trying to yawn, you're just like, ah, I can't quite get the yawn. And I did, believe me, I did get several yawns in because I was yawning constantly, but it was like never quite a full yawn. And and so I'm walking around all, all um, groggy and half awake. And okay, okay, there are parts of my body that were used to aching that weren't aching anymore. But I think it reminded me of the story of Samson in the Bible, how when Samson was born, God had promised him that as long as he never cut his hair, he would have superhuman strength. But then when he did get his hair cut, it all went away because of, I forget, Jezebel or some woman. Um, so I'm like, you know what? My strength, my superpowers, my ability to get things done all come from the tension in my neck. I cannot give this up. It's important to me to be slightly tense all the time, and then I can actually get things done. I can concentrate, I can respond quickly, I can be on it. But when I give this up and I go like, feel the prana forces, I lose all my strength. I lose all of my superpowers, and I'm like Samson with my hair cut. So what the heck is going on? I'm just saying, maybe all of my powers, my superpowers, my business ability comes from these muscles being tense. I don't know. Not sure, but I think there's something to it because walking around being yawning all the time, I don't know if being relaxed is worth it because I just feel kind of, <sighs> I feel kind of um, slow and stupid. I don't know. I suppose some people would say, just keep going, you'll get the hang of it. And okay, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll go tonight. I forgot to say, see, I forgot to say, because I don't have a tense neck. At the beginning of this, of this live video, I would really love to know if you're watching my replay, please put replay in the comments, because I'd love to, to know what you think. I'd love to engage in the conversation with you. If you wanna tell me more about what I need to know about yoga or about neck tension or about having superpowers in business, let me know, I'd love to hear it. But I thought I'd share with you that I feel like maybe I've lost all my superpowers and I have no more stamina anymore because my neck tension is gone because of dad blasted yoga. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great Monday or at least an interesting one. Let me know you're watching. Bye.